Recently, I encountered this problem with one of my customers' car, and then I realized this problem is widespread, and many of you may have the same problem with your car. Most importantly, you don't even know you are creating this problem with your car by yourself. And it doesn't matter what make and model you have, it can happen to any car. In this video, I will explain this problem and also I'm going to show you how to fix it. I just wanted to make sure it will never happen to your car. So let me tell you what happened to one of my good customers who complained about his relatively new car. First, he started to have problems with his smart key. So, something like this, but many cars may have different one. This is Mercedes, so this is key like this. He said the battery was dying very fast, and he had a lot of cars before, and he has never had the key where you need to replace the battery so quickly. But nobody took him seriously, and they just kept replacing his batteries. But sooner, the bigger problem started to surface. Now the battery of the car was getting weaker as well. Every morning when Steve was starting his car, there was like apparent hesitation for the car to start, but it was starting. And during the following three-day weekend, it was some kind of holiday, Steve didn't start his car at all. And when he went to start it in the morning after three days, the car was dead. So Steve called AAA roadside assistance to jumpstart his vehicle. And the guy said the battery was good after he jumped it, but there was something draining the battery while the car was turned off. So Steve brought this car to service department to check it out. The service technician inspected Steve's car battery, performed all the tests, and did not find any problems. The battery wasn't going down, it held charge without any problems. And did not show any signs of drainage. $150 later, Steve was on his way home. After not driving his car over the next weekend, the battery was dead again. So this time, he decided to tow his car to the dealership complaining what kind of car did we sell him. The service technician performed all the tests on the battery again and again did not find any problems with the car. The battery was good, kept the charge, did not go down, they performed all the tests, there was no battery drainage. But it was dying at the same time at his house. How is that possible? The battery is good, but at his house, for some reason, the battery dies. Anyway, I came to conclusion that if there is nothing wrong with the battery and it doesn't go down at the dealership, maybe something drains his battery inside his house. Maybe there was some kind of ghost coming at night and drinking all the juice out of his battery? I don't know. There must be some kind of explanation. And I decided to visit Steve in his house to investigate what the hell is going on. Why is his battery going down all the time? Here is Steve's garage. I'm gonna pull his car in. So here is the garage where Steve parked his car. And you can see there is a little door and this door leads inside the kitchen. And as you can see this cabinet, that's where Steve keeps the key from his car. So look again. His garage is separated from the kitchen by this little wall. And he said that he keeps the key from his car in this drawer. So let's look at it.
and let's close it for right now. So basically his car right now is standing right behind this wall. But first, let me explain how smart key works. After you park and lock your car, it goes to sleep. But as soon as the key comes close to your car, it starts sending a low frequency signal, which is encrypted for your security. At that point, your car has to wake up and the battery has to go to work to determine if that's the right key from that car. And if the key is right, then there is a handshake between the car and the key. This handshake has to happen before you come to the car, so it will open and close because it knows you have the right key. But what will happen if the car does not recognize the key? Your car still has to wake up, your battery has to work to make sure the doors will remain locked. But what will happen if you put the key within a striking distance of the car and this key will keep your car constantly awake, doing handshakes all the time. Although it doesn't take a lot of power from the battery, but if you do it for days, eventually the battery will fail. And then people end up calling the roadside assistance, totally surprised that they can't start their car. Not aware of the problem they create themselves. But what happens when you park your car in a big parking where a lot of other cars park? Hundreds of people walking with their smart keys, keeping your car awake. Especially it can become a big problem if you leave your car at the train station or airport. If you leave it for a short time, then it's not a big deal. But if you leave it for like for three, four, seven days, all the people walking with their smart keys will put more and more and more pressure on your battery. And by the time you come back, your car will be dead. So why is this problem now? Why it has never been a problem before? Let's look at the history. The first smart key was introduced by Mercedes-Benz back in 1998 S-Class and they still call it a keyless go. In the next 10 years, some luxury cars offer this feature as well. But today, in 2021, the vast majority of cars have either standard or optional smart key with keyless go feature. So this problem is fairly new because almost everyone has a smart key in his pocket right now. So imagine somebody is walking with the smart key in the pocket and every car in the parking aisle has to wake up to perform a handshake. Is it you? No. Is it you? No. Is it you? No. Every car. Now let's go back to Steve's house. And as you already realized, the car key was very close to his car and it kept both of them in communication. The battery of Steve's car was driven crazy by this little smart key until the battery was completely depleted. For three days the smart key was communicating with the car and the car was doing handshake asking are you coming? I don't know. Are you coming? I don't know. But the biggest issue is when you bring your car to service department who cannot find the problem in your car. I mean, try to figure that out. How can anyone know what's going on in your house? So how do you avoid problems in 2021? Number one, don't leave your smart key inside your car. This will definitely kill you better. Number two, keep your smart key at least 20-30 feet away from a car. And number three, disable keyless go feature if not planning to use your car for a longer period. Many cars have different ways to disable a keyless go, but in the Mercedes it's very easy. Instead of a single click on the lock button, you have to double click. Your door locked and alarm is on, but keyless go is disabled. Now your car can get a well-deserved rest. And that brings me to the question of today. What was your first car equipped with keyless go? And when? Please let us know in the comment section below.